Well, the culture wars in America are over and the bad guys won. That is a provocative argument of Christian writer Rod Dreher. He's the author of a new book released tomorrow. It's called The Benedict Option, A Strategy for Christians in a Post-Christian Nation. Well, our money may still say, in God we trust, but according to the author, cultural Christianity is practically extinguished, and in many ways, America is now hostile to Christian religious belief. What's the solution for believers? Rod Dreher joins us now. Rod, thanks a lot for coming on. So, a post-Christian America, people look at the, at the demographics and say, well, wait a second, it's like 75% self-professed Christians. What do you mean by that? Well, it's a facade. I believe that clearly we still have lots of Christians in America. Most Americans identify as Christians, but Christianity, as it has been historically understood, Tucker, is no longer at the center of our nation and, our, and of how we think of ourselves. I mean, if you huh. look at the numbers in, in the United States of the people who are falling away from Christianity, especially in the millennial generation, it's catastrophic. We've never seen anything like this. Plus, the content of the belief uh, that Christians have is very far from historic Orthodox Christianity. The Notre right. Dame sociologist Christian Smith has talked about how we believe now this total feel-good, squishy uh, Christianity that is not biblical Christianity. And this is what I mean. We are in a post-Christian situation in that sense. Is we've forgotten what it means to be Christian. So what, and I should just point out to our viewers who may just be tuning, tuning in, you are a Christian, and you're not applauding this trend, merely noting it, but you have a prescription for sincere Christians in America as to how to respond to this. What is it? That's right, Tucker. I'm a conservative Christian myself, and I think this is a terrible thing that's happening in our country. But I think that we have to wake up as Christians and realize the situation we're actually in and quit telling ourselves this happy, clappy stories about, about America. And we have to get back to traditional Christianity. We have to go back and rediscover our roots uh, in terms of what we believe, but also in terms of the faith we practice. We have got to place our church and our faith above everything else right now and really dig deep. Pope Benedict himself, Pope Benedict XVI, said that we are living in a time that's like the fall of the Roman Empire in terms of our spiritual crisis. I yes. think he's right, and I think that we have got to respond radically to this situation. So the evangelical Christians involved in politics basically have been saying for 30 years, the country is deeply sympathetic to us. There is a majority out there somewhere, and once they hear our message, they'll join with us. You say that's not true. We need to figure out how to, Christians need to figure out how to engage differently in politics. Oh, that's right. When I was coming up in the, in the 70s and 80s, uh, the, the belief among Christian conservatives was that the country was basically with us, but we were ruled by a liberal elite who kept us down. Right. And that's how we proceeded. We thought that if we just won the political offices and the judiciary, we would return, re renew the country. That is no longer operative. That is not true. And we have got to operate on the basis of reality, not just what we, we wish were happening. And that means we have got to get, we've got to stay involved politically at some level, if only to protect religious liberty. But I think right. we have to return to localism and building our local churches and schools and local institutions as a sort of arc to get us across this dark age. Huh. So that sounds a little bit like withdrawal from mainstream society, is it? Yes and no. It, we have to withdraw somewhat in order to rebuild who we are and our own sense of identity in the Bible and in our Christian tradition, but we have to withdraw so we can continue to go out into the world and present the face of Christ as he really is. If we don't uh, withdraw and study and pray and, and build our practices up, we can't bring the world uh, the, the gospel. I mean, I think that we have to... Uh, withdraw from the world so we can be for the world who Christ wants us to right. be. You can tell when someone's sincere and really rooted in his faith too and you, can, you know who the phonies are and they're definitely out there. The book is The Benedict Option. It's blowing up the internet, the Christian portions of it anyway. It's out tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Rod. Good to see you. Hey, it's a pleasure. Thank you.